Hello there, welcome back to LEGO Worlds and in today's video we are playing here with Mr. Robotica who is from Switzerland and Austria by the looks of those flags and here's a load of builds that we're going to go and check out and we'll probably Maybe give him some of ours. In fact, we already have. There is... I've given him my Millennium Falcon down there. You can see it straight ahead. Looks pretty cool on this on the uh, moon biome. So, let's take a look at what he has. So first of all, the UFOs, which you can actually find if you have this DLC, um, but it'll be like crash landed, so you'll have to kind of dig it out and save it. My God, we landed on it! All right, well, um, I'm not talking to him on Steam chat because, well. This, I'm using a PS4 mic, which is I'm using pretty much just to record for this video. Um, but my PC mic is broken, so that's why we're not doing that. Now this is a obviously some kind of pirate blimp. It's pretty. It's a pretty sick build. It looks very detailed. It's not the biggest, but you know it's very very nice you know it's got a good use of um of props or is it called now i think objects so you can see like that the uh, statue thing on the front little ornament there was a uh, that big pirate thing here as well as other parts like this thing here um whoa those, those like tail fin things are pretty cool. Nicely detailed. And obviously the propeller thing on the back there. Pirate flags in here, a nice wood burner thing. I guess that's what's powering it. Steam engine, I think. What is that? That is, ser that is just insanely cool. Like, seriously. Oh, wow, you can actually go inside the blimp. Oh man. So, who did he say? He said someone else made this. His name is. I'm just trying to find. Someone called him. H Y M N on Steam. I'll go and check him out later. Maybe add him. See if he, uh. You know, wants to show us around his, his maps. Uh, there was just like so much detail on this. So nice. It's probably one of the best builds I've seen. My own creations. Because, I mean, mine are, like, based off stuff. If anything, I would guess that this is, like, based off the blimp thing from, I want to I say Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, the one that um, Bowser Jr. flies around in. If anyone remembers that. Are you, 
I don't understand what that means. But this is insane. Seriously. What does this do? Oh crap, we're on, we're, okay, so we're on the cannon. Oh man, we're gonna have to go inside in a sec. Check it out. Yes, this is not even funny. There's just so much detail in such a small space. It's like, it really is brilliant. So we've got our globe prop thing. A desk with our quill and newspapers. It literally has everything. Oh wait, what happened? Yeah, sometimes you kind of glitch about on this game. Okay, let's go downstairs. So, we have a sword rack here. Hello, Mr. Robotica. Can we get down here? Oh yes, we can. But you can't get past, you just get kind of stuck there. Unless you can go down the other side. Oh yeah, you can. I, I still don't really understand what it means by that. But it's got a nice little window at the front here. Tried to like make holes for the cannons there, but it hasn't quite worked. Just because of like the shape of the cannons, it's kind of annoying. If you put them back a little bit, I mean they wouldn't quite be. You know, you can see where they're meant to be. They won't quite be on there, but they won't be like floating in the air. Right, let's try and get out of here. This is very cool. Let's look at the detail. It's crazy. So thank you, him. That's how your name is... Oh, crap. That's how your name is said. Here's my Millennium Falcon. Made that quite a while ago. It's not greatly detailed. I wonder if you what I would say. Because, I mean, he didn't make it, but... This is the stuff that he's made. Except these red things, apparently you unlock it doing a quest. Though I've never seen it or come across it before, so... I don't know. Alright, yeah, so he told me that you unlock this doing a quest. There's a build in the game, it's pretty cool. You can go. Oh, come on, quick. How do you, how do you change? I want to change to a. There we go. I don't know, what, what the hell just happened? That was weird. Okay, so I said before, those UFO things, if you have the space DLC, you'll find them crashed around the place and you can just kind of get rid of get rid of the dirt around them and save them. Alright, so this is this little short thing. Just crawl around as a bat. Um, it's not really a cockpit, you can't really sit in it or anything. But it's pretty nice. It's still pretty nice. It has some interior. All right. 
right, so this is one that he has made. A freighter. Engine on the back. Engines on these little wing bits here. And I guess these grey bits are like the containers for carrying whatever it carries. I don't know if you can go in them. Not that you really need to. You can actually go in there. There is a seat in there. Here we have these nice control panels in this one. So this is the interior of this one. You know, not the biggest interior, but it is a freighter, so it's not going to be carrying people or anything. Oh, it's because I, wait, it's because I wasn't even at the door. Okay, he wants me to hurry this up. Right, it says that we can save this. Even if it's not his. But yeah, it's pretty huge. Pretty just pretty much have to make it as big as it will go. What? Will it even fit? Most cool stuff coming. Does it all fit? I think the very front bit doesn't quite make it on. I guess I'll rename it later. I should save as Pirate Blimp. Seems appropriate. Limp and well, what just happened? All right, let's quickly check out this. I've seen it already. It's a pretty nice design. He built it himself. He said it took about six hours. I think he said. So we have a nice little cockpit area here with our control panels. some toilets. No, I wasn't meant to do that. Oh, that was rather interesting. Let's quickly... Oh, downstairs. Oh, I haven't seen this bit before. Okay, so this is like a storage area, I guess. Maybe, you know, where the engines are. Or the power for the engines. We have some computers. Aircon. Or whatever it is in this space world. It's probably not aircon. Now uh, we have the passenger place. Okay, you can sit on some of these seats. And we have a nice king size bed at the end as well. And uh, a fireplace. For 
whatever reason. Don't think we need the fireplace really, but to each their own, I guess. Alright, let's leave this place. So, pretty nice design, nice engines. This is another one they built himself. Have a quick little look around it. Got our Nexo command center computer thing at the end there with the chair and yeah we have a nice old medical bay thing here I haven't actually found that yet I've never seen that can you interact with it pretty cool nice coffee machine you always need a coffee machine if you're going into space um not going to sit down because we'll probably get stuck. It can be quite glitchy. It's all in all. Yeah, so we have seen everything on this world, and now he wants us to go and have a look on his next one. He also has that cool satellite dish thing over there, which he didn't show me, but it is there, and these cool little hut things. Let's just have a quick look in one of these before, well, I don't know how we get to the next world. Damn, there's some bunk beds in. This is actually a pretty nice little hook going on here. Oh, here we go. Into the next world. Will I go with him? I take it I will. Yep, here we go. So that is him in, uh, in the Pug Z or Z. Well, this isn't my world, so I know it won't contribute to my game. Hey! What is going on? Hang on. That that character that I'm playing as now is like my character from Early Access. Hey, what the heck? I guess we're going into this underground base. That crane is like you find it spawns in the world. You can just find it. Oh wow, okay. Very interesting. 
interesting. Let's buy something else. I like this guy tried to create his own computer. I wonder if we're going to have a look around. I wonder what was in that room. What the heck? Cool control panel here. Oh, is it a music studio? Could be either. I like the way this guy runs. Reminds me of Ezio. Ezio Ottore. Where did he go? Alright. I guess I'm a bit lost here. Let's take, take a look in here. If we're allowed. Wow. What reactor? Hey, what is going on? Alright. Looks like uh, Darth Vader's transformation table. Uh, for a 
probably not. I don't think this guy's a huge fan of Star Wars. another medical bed thing and some more science computers and equipment a microscope thing let's just quickly say fall okay I will follow no I want it there we go Alright, looks like we're walking through this bit. Huh? Uh, what? Um... This is a dead end. I was supposed to come here yet. But how do I get into his thingy place now? This is cool. I was expecting like a uh, Sand 5 rocket there, though, to be honest. That would have been. Wait, he suddenly just disappeared. What? That looks sick. No, not what? What? if it actually is. So apparently this is a bug. Do I see the TARDIS?
Okay. He keeps disappearing. And... Alright, let's try re-jumping. I'm still only seeing half. Half a helicopter and half a TARDIS. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Where is he? Where's he gone? Alright. These are the, uh, what's it even from? Miners? Or something like that. I'm gonna Google it. Lego. I take, I'm guessing it's miners. It is. Power miners, that's the one. Okay. The second thing, I wasn't looking. See you all now. So, to any of you Doctor Who fans, this is his version of the TARDIS. Honestly, I haven't watched Doctor Who in so long. I can't. I can't remember what it looks like inside. But this looks somewhat familiar. What do y'all think? Personally, I like it, it's cool. I'm not a big Doctor Who fan. I mean, I used to be actually. Years ago. Everyone used to watch it. But I was never that in into it really. Let's have a look down here. So we have Next it doorway thing here. That w that was maybe an honest because it is very cool. I don't know who the 12th Doctor is, I'm afraid. I can't remember who, uh, I know who the last three were, I think. It was that Matt, whatever his name was, who was in Terminator Genesis. 
he, I remember him, him being the Doctor, and then the two before that. The dude with dark hair and then the bald guy. Let's have a ride in this. I wonder if you can get it actually in the back part. Uh, there's this cool satellite dish thing again. Very cool. Oh wow, what have we got here? We've got uh, his shuttle again. Land on the helipad. Oh, I thought that was I thought it wasn't going to be complete then. Yeah, that's that's one thing I've noticed with this game, like the windows and stuff spawn in after the other brick. Which can be pretty irritating. Where the hell we go now? Got stuff in the ocean. What is it? I guess because when I'm in this world, um, you see like the default map, the default world. Because obviously, if I put in the the seed or the coordinates. For this world, then you know when I went on it, it would be as it was in the first place. So it just kind of takes a while for all the stuff that he's changed to load up. Whoa, what's in here? A cool garage. Just got a motorbike in here. Very nice. I mean, there might not be anything. Looks pretty nice from the outside. Could do with some walls in here, that's all I'll say. Apart from that, and a nice use of props. Wow, I haven't seen this coffee table before. TV, remote, and newspaper on. I haven't seen this thing he either. Pretty cool. Oh, it's just got a swim pool in here. Fair enough. Two washing machines in the living room. As you do. Nice staircase though. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's try and wrap it up in the next few minutes. Because I'm going to have to go. Oh wow, it's just got like a music studio going on up here. Bed is TV. 
you know, just basically a sick ass crib. It's a man cave. It's not a cave. It's a nice little, well, big spacious room actually. Where are we going? In the pool? I always wondered how you turn those lights on. time he can come and have a look around my place. That will be interesting. See what he thinks of it. What is in here? <laughs> oh, I didn't... There we go. Dola. Dola Dola. All that one is. Is awesome. Two trailer park girls go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Hello. In the trailer. Yeah, this is uh, a build that you get in the game. You won't look around that because it's uh, always the same. He is dangerous. Let's ask him what where you got this building from. Gen I'm I genuinely curious. 
because it's freaking awesome. Who's this? That's a pretty awesome thing to find. A portrait of Frankenstein. All right, so we've had a look at this. Probably the TARDIS. Good day to you, sir. Look at this stuff. This is cool. Alright, well, you read the screen. So that was pretty cool. First time I've done that, been to someone else's world. Except the one time I did an early access, but it was so bad then that it just wouldn't work. Like, he couldn't see me, and then kept, like, disconnecting and stuff. It just wasn't very good, so, you know, that's pretty awesome, actually. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like these builds, then like this video, and I'll see you next time.